Hello, LTs. Welcome to Japan. Are you excited? Are you a bit nervous? If so, please don't be. You have many people around you who help you, support you, and work with you. We Monbu Kagakusho, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology, MEX, will also welcome you. I'm Masayo Tomitaka, Senior Specialist for Curriculum from MEXT. Before you get started teaching, there's some information you should know about. In this series of ALT videos, you learn about the Japanese education system, the national curriculum standards, and expectations for ALTs at school. I hope you enjoy watching and learn and think a lot from these videos. The aim of this video series is to help you understand what Japanese school education is. Through learning about the Japanese school education system, you realize what expectations Japanese people have for school education, what expectations students and their parents have for learning in the classroom, and what tasks teachers engage in and what points they place particular importance on in their daily work. You should then become aware of what's expected of you to support Japanese school education as an LT. So, I really hope that this video will help you and I'm sure that you'll be more confident in yourself as an LT after watching this video. Include three videos. I will talk about the basics and characteristics of school education system in Japan. In the second video, you learn about the national curriculum standards. In the last video, you learn about expectations for LTs at their schools. Here are the contents. First, Japanese education at glance by statistics. Second, laws relating to school education. Third, fundamental features that have produced outcomes and equality in education. At the end, you have time to think. Now, I like to talk about some information related to Japanese education. Please have a look at the map of Japan. In Japan, there are 47 prefectures and 1,800 local governments in cities, towns, and villages. There are 5,000 senior high schools, 10,000 junior high schools, and 20,000 elementary schools. There are 1 million students in each grade. This graph shows the highest level of students' achievements as measured by the International Students' Assessment conducted by OECD PISA 2018. As you see, Japan is at the top level in the world, especially in mathematics and science. Moreover, the PISA 2018 results also show that Japan is among the countries having the smallest differences in socioeconomic and cultural standards among students, and indicate the very small degree to which socioeconomic and cultural standards affect student scores. This means there are not significant disparities regardless of where the schools are located, whether the schools are big or small, and even whether the school district has an economic advantage or not. What has been actualizing these outcomes and the equality of education? What do you think? You may have some ideas. It might be because of the characteristics of Japanese people. It might be because of Japanese school culture. There are no absolutely correct answers. 
But at least we can say that laws regarding the school education system have been playing an important role. Next, I'll talk about laws regarding the school education system. I'll introduce you to some very important statements which have had a very important influence on the ideas and concepts underlying Japanese education systems. Ideals and principles of education based on the Constitution of Japan. All people have the right to receive an equal education. All of the people are equal under the law, and there shall be no discrimination in political, economic, and social relations because of race, creed, sex, social status, or family origin. This shows the aims of school education from the basic act on education. It says that education shall aim for the full development of personality and strive to nurture the citizens sound in mind and body who are imbued with the equalities necessary for those who form a peaceful and democratic state and society. The basic act also ensures the equality of learning opportunities and the quality of education. Quote, the national government shall comprehensively formulate and implement educational measures in order to provide for equal opportunities in the education and to maintain and increase educational standards throughout the country. Now, you know the basic ideas and background of education in Japan. I'll talk next about three essential features which sustain the quality of education. They are curriculum standards, teachers licensing and certification, and the provision of textbooks. First of all, I'll talk about teachers licenses, employment, and teacher development. Teachers in charge of English classes at junior and senior high school are required to have a teaching license certifying them to provide English language education. The elementary school teachers teach all subjects, including English, to the homeroom students in general. But at some elementary schools, specific teachers who specialize in teaching English teach all the English classes. The salaries of teachers of public elementary schools and junior high schools are paid by both the national government for one third and the prefectural government for third. This means that municipalities don't pay the employment costs for their teachers. The number of teachers is fixed by law and regulations based on number of students in each school. The system contributes to the fact that there are no major differences in the educational environment of municipalities. Now, I'll talk about another important aspect of the Japanese education system. That's the national curriculum standards. National curriculum standards are the guidelines for all elementary schools junior high school, and senior high schools in both public schools and private schools to form their curriculum. National curriculum standards set the overall framework and goals for all subjects and clarify specific objectives, contents, and syllabus planning and lesson delivery. National curriculum standards are, in general, revised about every 10 years. Next, I'll explain about authorized and free provision of the textbooks. In the Japanese education system, 
textbooks are provided free of charge to all students at compulsory education stage. Most of textbooks are produced by private publishers, and Max authorized them based on the national curriculum standards. The others edited by Max. The local board of education or each school, in case of private schools, adapt the Max authorized or the Max authored textbooks they want to use. Although teachers can use other additional resources using Max authorized or the Max authored textbooks, is stipulated by law because it's one of the important ways to maintain the equality and raise the standard of education throughout the country. You now have time to think and reflect on what you have learned. In this video, we have seen how the laws regarding education sustain and the quality of education. Behind these education systems enshrined in laws are people's high expectations for education for all children in order to give them the competencies for life. So, from the perspective of foreign language education, what's expected to be provided to students through school education? What do you think? In the next video, I'll talk about what's expected of schools in regards to foreign language education by introducing more about the national curriculum standards. Thank you for watching and see you at the next video.